Hey there guys, welcome back. Uh, today I wanted to give you a tour of my chicken coop. This originally was a turkey coop a couple Thanksgivings ago, but uh, since that project went by the wayside, um, I since have turned it into a chicken coop and I've gotten a ton of compliments um, and uh, questions about it in recent years from family, friends, and uh, uh, YouTube subscribers as well. Uh, so I've shown a few parts of it, but I figured today, uh, since we finally had our winds calm down, I'll give kind of like a grand tour. So I'll talk about uh, basically four or five different things. I'll talk about kind of just go over an overview of how I built it. Um, I'll talk about the food system, the water system, uh, my security features, my electric fence, uh, the solar panel, that kind of stuff, and then uh, a couple of the special features. So one of them's the egg door, but I've showed you that before. So let me grab the camera and I'll kind of take you on a walk around and uh, give you a tour. So to start off with, I'll just kind of give you a, a real quick overview of the construction. Um, what you'll see here is it's basically a shoebox style. And what I did is I designed it uh, four foot wide by f uh, eight foot long and where I could use full sheets of plywood for the sides, full sheets up this way. And then with my scraps, I was able to build this little egg box right here. Um, for my fence, it's just super basic. I used uh, two by threes and landscape timbers. Um, haven't been totally happy with the landscape timbers. I got those on sale for two bucks uh, each or on clearance because they were kind of twisted. But uh, you know what? Overall, it's been all right. So basically that makes the main yard there. And as you'll see, we kind of go all the way around here. Um, on each end, I've got a gable vent and a window. Um, and this side's got plexiglass and the other side has chicken wire. Um, that's just to give it a little extra ventilation and this side is predominantly where, where we get most of our rains this direction So I just wanted to keep that out I'll kind of show you a, a quick little opening um, I kind of keep the food and stuff in there. I'll give you a quick little tour of that inside um, As well, but let's continue on the outside So we'll back up here You'll see I used corrugated tin on it like I've done on a lot of my projects. Um, you'll see the, uh, egg, uh, the egg box over here, uh, basically where the hens lay their eggs. And that has a little feature on here, what I was talking about, the convenience features. And uh, I did a video on that. It was basically the egg door. Um, but it's basically uh, an assist uh, to keep that door open, as you see it is right now. Um, or... Uh, you know, basically it's a, it's a pretty heavy door, so you can just do one-handed operation, keep it up there just like that. And if, you, if, uh, if it slips, it kind of lowers itself. So um, for the egg box, I used to have dividers in here, but I've since have taken them out uh, because I used to have all the chickens sitting on one side, uh, basically all in the same box. So I'd have like six or seven eggs in, the, in one box. So I took them out. I just used some old pallet wood to uh, block that off, and uh, they seem to like it better this way. So they tend to uh, lay on either side, sometimes in the middle, but mostly on, on opposite sides. Let me close that. We'll walk onto this side. As you see, uh, it's got the same gable vent. And uh, there is the remainder of the chicken yard. So right now we can get into the watering system. As you see, I've got a, uh, a 55 gallon barrel is uh, makes up the, the main portion of this watering system. I just have it on an old scrap wood platform to raise it up and it feeds some little chicken waters that are in that box. So I'll walk you around right now so you can see that. We come in the main yard. Um, I throw a straw on the ground here, but uh, basically the chickens are rarely in here. If I'm home during the day, I generally let them out. But I did want, to, want them to have a, a, a small run to be able to run in, uh, just in case we are gone. So on to the watering system. There's the little watering cups. I've really had good luck with them so far. I just built a little box to kind of keep uh, extra rain and sun off of them and uh, also keep uh, dirt from getting in, you know, on them. Basically, if you uh, hit them right there, it's got a little like stem in there that the chickens peck at and it uh, fills up with water. 
So from here, we can go on over to the food. As you see, they're, uh, they're hitting it right there. Let's see if I can set this down where you can see it. Well, I'll just come on over. So it's basically just an old PVC pipe that I spray painted tan. I made a little handle for it and uh, I just bolted it to a, a little galvanized pan. My only really modification that I've made is a little stick that I put in here. Uh, so when I fill the food completely up, uh, you see it's got a blue color, a couple blue lines. And as the food goes down, once I know here I've got uh, less than a third or about a third, uh, so I know I've got about a day, day and a half before I need to fill it up. I plan on making this one a bigger one, but uh, you know, for now, it's actually working pretty good. If we come over here, you'll see, uh, I just have another, uh, just a little pine log made as a roost. So nothing super fancy. So now I'll take you around and uh, kind of show you the main enclosure. Now we're on the outside of the run, and uh, basically, as I mentioned before, just a super simple construction. We live on very hilly land, so you'll notice that uh, all of these are kind of staggered as the uh, elevation of the land goes down. Uh, my garden's in the background over on that side. Um, so we used basically chicken wire for the outside, um, and what I did, instead of just buying a roll of chicken wire, I actually bought a... Uh, concrete la or a stucco lath and and tar paper uh, combination and it was actually cheaper than buying just uh just the chicken wire alone so you know maybe a maybe a tip for you maybe i'll show you that when i uh, go to home depot one of these days uh for the top i just used two by two inch bird netting um and uh from what i've read that'll actually uh, uh obviously deters hawks and different things like that but bobcats and raccoons and anything like that if if they can't find a seam up here, uh, the minute they try to walk on that, uh, you know, they, they feel very uncomfortable. So it's not something that they generally try to uh, to go through. I've never had anything breach in here. Um, however, uh, down here, all of the chicken wire is buried about a foot, and then I've just covered it with rocks. Um, and then I've got my electric fence that runs all the way down here. I've contemplated putting it up here just for the climbing uh, uh, predators, but, so far, I haven't done that yet. So let me take you around and I'll show you where the electric fence ties into. So now that we're back on the uh, front side, if you notice down here, I've got a couple PVC fittings. Um, one of them powers the electric fence, uh, puts power right there. And then the other one is the ground. Um, instead of buying a uh, purpose-built ground rod, I'll show you kind of what I did. I got a four foot concrete stake I stripped some uh, 12 gauge wire, uh, copper wire, and I wrapped the entire stake uh, through the holes and everything, um, and then pounded it into the ground. So, you know, it, it's uh, <laughs> definitely cheaper than buying a, a purpose-built ground rod. So far it's been working good, but uh, I'm not saying that it's better, <laughs> I'm just saying it's cheaper. And then for the power source of this, you'll see I've got a little solar panel up there. I think that was old Harbor Freight Special or, or something off of Craigslist I got years ago. Uh, but basically what that's powering is a 12 volt marine battery over here. And I'll take, uh, I'll take you in the coop now and kind of show you the setup for that. Now that we're inside, here is a quick little overview of the uh, electric fence setup. I am using a Patriot P5 dual purpose fence charger. And the reason I'm, I like that is because it has an AC option as well as the 12 volt DC option. So currently I have it set up uh, coming off of the uh, solar panel. And uh, you'll see the solar panel comes in there, uh, runs along this, this wire, and goes down into my 12 volt uh, marine battery. So let me take this off. And I'll just kind of show you how it's just a super simple setup. I have a little Harbor Freight uh, charge regulator. And then I just added a little toggle switch so I can turn the, the uh, fence power on or off. So we'll leave it off right now because i got chickens running around. But uh, back to the dual purpose feature, um, here is the AC adapter that comes with it. So basically, if I want to use this, all I have to do is take this little uh, plug and plug it up into the bottom of the... Uh, 
uh, the fence energizer and then just feed an extension cord in here into the coop. That's why I have this hole and just plug it into the power strip. So that uh, really gives a nice uh, dual purpose uh, uh, safety feature in case uh, one or the other goes down. And uh, since we're in here, I'll just give you a quick little look over the inside, the roof setup. Those are just pine logs on an angle. Um, those weights are part of my pulley system with my egg door. And uh, you know, the rest of it's just uh, standard two by three construction. So now I'll take you outside and show you the final portion of my uh, security aspects of, of the coop. So now that we are back on the outside of the coop and you've already seen the kind of electric fence set up, I'll show you one last line of security that I have for the chickens. Um, basically in the event that the physical fence or bird netting breaks down um, or the electric fence ceases uh, to work, um, basically I need a way to secure the chickens until I can remedy whatever situation that is. So my final form is a little uh, a secret hatch or a door that I, I can bring down and basically keep the chickens stowed away in here for uh, uh, you know the interim until I can repair that. I wouldn't do it uh, for a long period of time, but for a short period of time, that's probably gonna be uh, my best mode of, uh, of security. So chickens are getting ready to uh, <laughs> come in for the night, so I better uh, hurry up and show you this quick. So basically what I do is I would just move my uh, my little ramp for them and then I just have it stowed away up here right there. So just got a couple little holes, put that down there and basically nothing's getting in. So anyway guys, I hope maybe you found this entertaining and interesting and, and maybe it gives you an idea of something you can do for your own coop. But uh, as always, uh, more videos to come, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.